Hunter S. Thompson once said that anything worth doing is worth doing right. That motto has rung true for Bruce Lee Rose for almost his entire life. And what he found worth doing was building. You know, I always enjoyed uh, building things, whether it was, you know, um, probably first it was probably uh, customizing my bicycles. And, and then it was bought an old van and the uh, motor blew up, so I bought a book and pulled the engine and rebuilt it. And, but I just like working with things. Eventually, Bruce's love for building wouldn't involve fixing the sound of a broken muffler or the clanking of a busted bike chain. No, Bruce's hands were drawn to the sound of a different tune. With guitars, you know, you have one, something goes wrong, you have to fix it. You start fixing them and pretty soon realized, well, I could just build one. For the next 10 to 15 years, Bruce did just that in a guitar shop in Nina. I spent about 10 years as Guitar 911 doing repair and building, custom building. Bruce was fixing, building, always using his hands to make something he loved. And he was doing it right. Until an accident involving a piece of glass would cause everything that seemed so right for Bruce to go very wrong. Just a little uh, glass cut, which was nothing in itself. It's just, was it exactly the wrong spot? You know, those an inch over and he'd been dead. Well, if it had been a millimeter over, I'd had a Band-Aid. The glass had severed almost all of the tendons and nerves in Bruce's right hand. After a series of surgeries, his hand still only has limited mobility, with doctors only able to reattach half of the injured tendons. It took over a year for Bruce to relearn to write his name. And I didn't touch the guitar for a while. The only time in my life since I was 10 that that was the case, and you know, probably feeling sorry for myself. It, you know, finally hit me one day that um, it might, I was raised, you know, if the thing's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And um, I pretty much believe that, I certainly uh, try to do that, but sometimes I realize when a thing is really important, it's, it's really the more important truth is that it's worth doing badly. So after years of making guitars the right way, Bruce was now forced to learn to make them the wrong way. And that included where he bought his building material. Mostly cigar stores. At this point, we also, people have been kind enough to give us cigar boxes. That's right, guitars made out of cigar boxes, something Bruce was inspired to build after seeing one in action on stage. It just looked like a riot. It was a lot of fun. I liked the sounds he was getting out of it. And something his wife, Mary Ann, fully supported. I thought it was fantastic because I think the first thing he said was, I'd like to buy one of those. And I think my response was, I think you'd like to make one of those, wouldn't you? Bruce did just that. He went home and found some old cigar boxes in the basement and started building. But with the constant numbness in his right hand, Bruce could no longer do the work required to build one alone. Luckily for him, he had someone close by to lend him a hand. When he's doing a lot of the sanding because of vibration, you know, the frayed nerves, the vibration is pain. In order to decrease the pain, I take over some of the jobs that, that he has a hard time doing. Together, the two have made dozens of cigar box guitars, each one different, each one, according to Bruce, done badly. But for him, the chance to work closely with his wife has been an experience he wouldn't fix for anything. Definitely the best thing that ever happened to me. That's really easy. I give thanks for her every day. It's just, um, that's really what it's all about. Um, and that's why this is so much fun. The two now spend their summers traveling across Wisconsin, setting up a small white tent displaying and selling their instruments to the public. For Marianne, it's been a sort of therapy session for Bruce. He's blossomed a lot because I think by, you know, having to work through some of the things that he has worked through, um, and when he finishes a project and then he sees somebody play it, um, and, you know, you could just, he lights up. And for Bruce, learning to be bad at something has never felt so right. I have uh, always considered myself the luckiest person on earth. You can build the kind of life that you want to, and you have somebody that, you know, that's there to build it with you. 